Okay, today we'll take a look at a nice uh, podcast manager. Uh, this is probably the, the best uh, podcast manager out there. Uh, it has plenty of features. And uh, to get it, just go to your Synaptic Package Manager. And then just search for gpotter. So that's uh, G-P-O-D-D-E-R. Uh, and just install that. After you do that, uh, you have to go to your applications, sound and video, and gpotter podcast client. Okay, so this is the interface. It's uh, it's pretty simple and uh, well designed. Uh, on the left side, you have uh, the, the podcasts that uh, you subscribe to. As you can see here, I already added some podcasts. And uh, on the right, uh, when you select one of these podcasts, it'll show you the episodes uh, or uh, you know the f that are uh, available in that feed. Now, if there is a, a star next to uh, one of these episodes, that, that means that it's a new one and you haven't downloaded it yet. And uh, right here it tells you um, the size of the file and when it was released. So it gives you uh, all the information uh, you need. Another thing here uh, for this one you can see that there is a number right next to the podcast uh, title. Uh, this number just means that uh, one of the, uh, the episodes from this podcast has been downloaded and played. If there was another num number to the left of this one, uh, maybe if it says one, that would mean that there is uh, uh, an episode that was downloaded and hasn't been played or transferred to uh, your mp3 player yet. Then you have the uh, download tab. This is, uh, it just shows you uh, what files are being downloaded. So if, um, if the program's downloading a podcast, it would be here. The nice thing about this is uh, it gives you this feature here. You can limit uh, um, the rate, the download speed. So that if uh, you're using the internet for other things, this will not slow it down. You can, uh, you know, uh, just uh, give it uh, maybe, I don't know, like whatever you want. Just give it a certain amount of uh, bandwidth and it will just use that. Now, uh, the first thing you would probably want to do uh, when you uh, start this, uh, you probably just uh, want to go to Preferences and change um, some settings according to your needs. Now you have the audio media player and uh, video uh, video media player. Uh, you can select which one you want this program to use when you play a podcast or a, or a screencast maybe. Uh, if you want it to use the default uh, applications, uh, the media player and uh, audio player, just leave it uh, for uh, as default application. If you want it to check for uh, episodes on the startup, you just check that. If you want it to keep uh, rechecking for new episodes, you can uh, check this and uh, uh, specify how many minutes you want it uh, uh, to check the, the feeds. Next thing you have here is uh, downloads. You can uh, tell it to delete uh, downloads after seven days. After after they've been played, so if they weren't played, it, it's not going to delete them. And uh, this is probably the important one: um, if you sync your podcasts uh, with uh, an MP3 player. So from here, you um, you choose what kind of device you have. So if you have an iPod, you choose an iPod from here. If you have uh, a file system based mp3 player or mtp based uh, mp3 player, you select them from here. I use uh, the uh, file system based. I have a uh, Sansa e E280, so um, I just use this. <coughs>
And uh, these settings are uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, um, if you want, a lot of these podcasts are in the AUG format, and there are a lot of MP3 players that don't support that format. Now, if, if your MP3 player does not support AUG, you probably want to ch uh, uncheck this one and it will uh, convert AUG feeds uh, on the fly to MP3 wh while you're syncing them to your uh, MP3 player. So that's a nice feature. Uh, my Sansa E280 does not support AUG, but uh, I put um, Rockbox in it. Uh, if you don't know what Rockbox is, it's just a f uh, an open source firmware that replaces the, the manufacturer's fir firmware on the MP3 player. And uh, when you get that firmware, uh, your MP3 player will start uh, supporting AUG, and it gives you a lot more features than the manufacturer gives you. So I just checked this because I know that Rock Rockbox will support AUG files. And uh, some other self-explanatory uh, uh, settings here. Okay, so uh, when you get uh, a podcast like this one, if I want it uh, to, uh, to sync it with my MP3 player, you just plug it in and you go to transfer. And that will transfer it to your MP3 player. Uh, if, uh, if you don't know a lot of podcasts and you want to find new ones that you might like, if you go to subscription, and discover new podcasts. This is a nice feature that would um, show you a lot of uh, popular podcasts here. Uh, as you can see here, there's uh, Linux Outlaws or Floss Weekly, TED Talks. Uh, you also have uh, some other ones here. And you can even add um, uh, videos from uh, a YouTube channel. And uh, I can show you that here because uh, just to show you how this works, I added my YouTube uh, channel here. And as you can see, it gives you um, a list of all the videos that I uh, put on YouTube. And uh, it can even download the new ones. And when you play them, it will play them uh, uh, in VLC or uh, whatever media player you use. Okay, so that's it. And thanks for watching.